It looks like meat, it bleeds like meat, and it sizzles on the grill like meat. But this burger is not from a cow, it's from plants, and it's the product of Impossible Foods, a startup that believes it's cracked the code on fake meat. The system that we use today to produce meat and cheeses uh, is completely unsustainable. It has terribly destructive environmental consequences, and many scientists and doctors believe it's intrinsically uh, unhealthy to eat. The CEO of Impossible Foods, Patrick Brown, a Stanford professor, is trying to shrink the animal farming industry by creating a vegan burger that actually tastes like meat. His team has created a burger from plant proteins, but the secret sauce here is a kind of blood that mimics the blood in meat by containing heme, a molecule in hemoglobin that is found in high concentrations in animals. This is basically 99% of the secret to meat flavor. Heme is the molecule that makes meat taste like meat. It's the reason why meat tastes like nothing else. It's the reason why red meat, which has more heme, to most people tastes meatier than white meat. And this is extracted from plants, kind of like plant blood, if you will, right? This is naturally found uh, in the roots of um, basically any legume, any nitrogen-fixing plant, yeah. And so, what does it taste like? Why don't you taste it and tell me what it, it tastes first? like? No, you can do it. It tastes like blood. Like, it's like mm -hmm. a, a diluted... It's like a diluted form of blood, right? That was the thing that hit me. I feel like, I, I remember this. This is what it felt like to get punched in the face. Impossible Foods, which has 75 million in venture funding, is part of a wave of startups trying to upend the meat industry. Beyond Meat, Hampton Creek, and Modern Meadow have all raised millions in venture capital, some from the same backers as Impossible. But changing a huge industry isn't easy, and Impossible knows that refining the tastes of their burgers is only the beginning. So we don't expect the consumer to want to choose our product because it's better for the world. We have to effectively reinvent a whole system for producing food, the end result being an unbelievably delicious product that can compete successfully against a product that people have loved for a thousand years. And even once Impossible has arrived at a flavor they believe can compete with meat, they still have to find processes to make it cheaper if they hope to stand a chance against the animal farming industry. But the company anticipates beginning to manufacture burgers for consumers as early as next year. We're going to measure our success by looking at satellite photos of Earth. 30% of the land surface of planet Earth is devoted to animal farming. 20 years from now, or hopefully less than that, we hope to be able to look at Google Earth and see a different planet. 